Uh, I would like to pass this message across to you, comrades. What you've just seen was not a movie. It was a reality. People were arrested, people were injured, and others ended up in hospitals. That is why I always wonder why the police are brought in when the people question the non-deliverance of services that was promised to them. Because when the politicians promise people, police are not involved. They are not part of those meetings. So I always say, if we can organize ourselves like that in South Africa, it can happen in any other country where poor people must come together, organize, and fight for their rights. I think the message is clear. The very same people who voted the councillors into power are the very same people who are, who are being betrayed. You have seen in the inset people are talking for themselves that there are no service deliveries, no toilets, no running water, one stand pie for 300 families. But on the other side, the councillor is saying people have access to running water, they use it day and night. That is the kind of lies we reject. That is why we are fighting for a bottom-up approach <laughs> in everything. And I encourage you, in whatever problems that you may have, unity shall always be the strength of the poor people. So we need not have this fear of the unknown. Okay. We need to change the world. Thank you for your listening. Thank you. The main thing is that you need you to be strong. Don't be fear what you do. And don't be doubt. Firstly, to go into the struggle like that, you must feel the pains. You must feel the injuries inside to how you can face some difficulties. Then after this, you will be strong to facing the truth outside the world. Especially we, as a, a woman, I think some of the women they saw who are stronger people to talking and give the youngest as Pilani to be strong and to be know how they fight because the mothers are more people who get things as the people who give them. Now I said, don't doubt when you start the thing, and don't look things uh, in opposite sides. You must tell yourself on correct way to what I'm doing, I'll be win, and definitely you'll be win if you convince yourself to be win. Don't doubt. Put your voice out. The outside people they hear you and they come and help you. You must show the people to now this is a time. Enough is enough. If I die, I must die. How can you sit and you said, I don't want to be dying? Although you dead, they kill you slowly, slowly, slowly. Rather must die one time if there is a red line to be done. Thank you. He has just told you how many times he got arrested. Can you imagine after 1994 with the new constitution where it is stated clearly that you cannot arrest a person on grounds of suspicion? He has been arrested four times. How can you trust and respect the people that are supposed to be the custodians of the constitution, yet they are the first people to violate? With that, ladies and gentlemen, I want to assure you that you are not alone in your struggle. All I'm asking for is, we can be in South Africa, you can be in Italy, but in one voice, that will send the message to the authorities in both countries, in any other part of the world, that the violation of human rights is no more accepted. I say this fully understanding that in our country, South Africa, and maybe the ambassadors in the world, are telling the people that everything is running smooth in South Africa. And this morning when I saw the headlines in one of the newspapers where it says the World Cup that you do not see on television, it reminded me of the reality that is taking place in South Africa. 
all the people who are at power, who have resources to say something, are telling you everything is running smooth. And they will never, as a tourist, if you come from any country, take you to places where people live in such conditions. I'm not being difficult about this, <coughs> but these sheikhs have been there since 1994. It's been 16 years. And that is why we say the World Cup is not going to make any difference to the poor people. The only time that we will be able to trust our government is when they deliver on their promises. We are not asking for too much. We are only asking for decent housing, decent jobs, electricity, running water. We are able-bodied. We can do things on our own. We must be given a chance to decide for ourselves okay. what we want to do. We must not only become important when it's only the time for votes. Le, 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 le case di cui parla, per esempio, il politico, quando dice che le persone non accettano gli esperimenti, se mai ci, se ci fossero state, se ci sono, sono lontane, cioè so, o, o, è uno stile di vita che non, lo, non accettano. Whenever we are promised houses, they do not consider how far they take you from the city. Because the cities are not for the poor people. The reason why people come and make shelters like that in the cities is because they want to come to nearer to the workplaces where they can find jobs. But when they want to move you from the cities, they will make what I would call a constructive way of evicting you, promising you a house far away from the city, without proper consultation with you, without even taking into account how much you're going to pay for transport, traveling to and from your house to the place of work. And for the little wages that the people work for, ends up getting finished by the transport. And they take nothing home. Tutti i giornalisti che ci saranno adesso in Sudafrica per un mese e anche di più, che ci sarà tutta l'attenzione del mondo, loro potrebbero in qualche modo, ci stanno pensando, cercare di far uscire le loro istanze per far sì che tanta gente, tanta più gente possa venire a saperlo. We understand that the security is very tight in South Africa at the moment. What always comes to our minds as leaders is responsibility. We do not want to risk unnecessary casualties, but that does not mean we are not going to do something about this. In the struggle, there are so many ways of putting a message across. This will remain a memory that we've been to Italy and met kind people like yourselves.